Nazi came on the third day. I was huddled in the corner, trying to create a making of for PTO's new project, Hari Malaysia. As Pete and Nazi did their thing, I remember thinking that something felt different this time around. Things felt slower, boring even. It's times like these that selfish thoughts creep in. Why wasn't I directing the video? How come Pete only brought me in two weeks before the shoot? Pete suddenly yells cut, and before I knew it, I was back on set again. As Nazi gingerly made his way out of the mess of cables, lights, and C-stands, Pete went to wrap his left arm over the CEO of CIMB. And suddenly it dawned upon me. I got it all wrong. The soundtrack for the videos consists of the songs Kambara and Slipstream. Performed by Asmida and Melina William, they form the backdrop to an edited montage of old film footage. It depicts how we became Malaysians as we celebrated both Medeka and Malaysia Day. But here's a twist. With the magic of visual effects, P transports Malaysians from the present, back in time, to the beginning. The team started shooting in May after a five-month pre-production period. This entailed pouring through hundreds of hours of footage, deciding on the shots they would ultimately use. Despite the usual delays and scheduling conflicts that came with a production that involved 30 or so people, we pressed on. Each production day began with breakfast. Then the different crews would go away to work on their setups while they wait for the VIPs. Pete's projects are extremely efficient. Yes, we have crazy, busy days, but everyone seems to connect somehow. Greetings, introductions, stories, football, Jokes and discussions about Malaysia's history take place alongside confessions of childhood celebrity crushes. Nothing was off limits. Everyone feels familiar. People used to tell me that being a filmmaker is a lonely profession. It suddenly seemed so when I first started. Malaysia is as fractious as its creative industry. Everybody seems to be operating in their own communal islands. No one seems to be talking to each other, much less listening. I began to feel lost and started questioning if I made the right choice in coming home or even in being a filmmaker. Then I got involved in my first project with Pete, a project called 50 Malaysia. It became a huge success locally and abroad and before I knew it, I found myself at the premiere of the Pusan International Film Festival, standing shoulder to shoulder with colleagues who had now become friends. That night, in a foreign country, we made a toast to the late Yasmin Ahmad. In that one bright, shining moment, the world didn't seem like a lonely, scary place where you couldn't trust anyone or anything new. And so, four years after 15 Malaysia became a pop cultural icon, I sat there and watched Pete wrap his left arm around Dato Sri Nazir Raza. It was then that I was reminded again that the reason I fell in love with filmmaking in the first place is the idea of camaraderie that comes from being a part of something bigger than yourself. And when you think about it, filmmaking is kind of like nation building. It's a haphazard, messy process, and sometimes it can feel like one is facing impossible odds. Like a nation, it seems like movies are never done with new, insurmountable challenges always on the horizon. But whether you're making a film or building a country, it's not what you lose, but what you learn that counts. And I've learned a few things over the years. There's room for amateurs, but not auteurs. Prima donnas are not needed either on a film set or in a nation. You need to have people skills. There's a lot of give and take. To get your point across, you need to listen as well. There are risks to yourself and to the people around you. But the rewards are greater still and worth taking the chance for. It's about learning to use each other's strengths and helping each other overcome weaknesses. It's about realizing that it's never too late to start over or to move on or to try something different. 
But more importantly, the biggest similarity is that we're all in this together. We're all part of a journey. We're all contributing in our own way to a larger story. It takes time for it to come together and it's hard work. But ultimately what we create is something that tells the world about who we are and what we feel is important. I suppose you could say that telling a real Malaysian story, whether it's through a song or a film or a book, is like charting the journey of Malaysia.